Hi everyone, my name is Kyle Hodges and I'm an assistant director for the business and technology community in the UVA Career Center. We know that this fall 2020 semester looks a lot different than any semester in the past, but we're still working really hard to replicate many of the same opportunities that you've always found from our office. That means that we're planning some exciting virtual employer events and virtual career fairs for you to engage with over the semester. So I wanted to walk you through some of the key differences and show you exactly what they're gonna look like, how to sign up and register and give you a few tips for success. So I'm gonna get started by sharing my screen and taking us over to Handshake. And you can find just about everything that we have going on by going to this events tab at the top of the page. And actually most of the employer events and career fairs are gonna be within this career fairs feature. So you want to go to this button up at the top. And here you will find all of the fairs that our office is planning as well as all of our collaborator offices across the university are planning as well. And in this video, I'm gonna be focusing on the virtual fall finance night. However, the tips that you see in this video will apply to all of the events that we're planning over the semester. So when I'm on this event overview page, there are several details, but you want to make sure to pay attention and read it thoroughly to make sure that you don't miss out on anything. And even when you scroll down to the bottom of the page here, you'll be able to see all of the employers that are attending, a little bit more details about the company and some of the jobs that they're hiring for as well. So that is a tip to make sure you know about too. But back to this event overview page, You'll find all the details and you'll see that some of our events have multiple portions involved. Some might start with a welcome speech or a keynote address. This one starts with niche breakout sessions and we have these multiple portions just to give you more exposure to the employers and to give you extra educational content around the event. So this event is finance night and we have these niche breakout sessions to give you a little bit more education around finance. So make sure that you're paying attention to those multiple sessions and signing up to attend those as well. Now watch closely because I'm going to show you exactly how to complete the registration process for this event. I'm going to start by going up here and clicking this blue register button. And it is automatically going to take me to view all of the employer sessions. Now, if this were a regular in-person career fair, you would walk into a big room and walk up to an employer's table and start chatting, uh, you know, off the cuff. However, we have to be a little bit more intentional this time and sign up for sessions beforehand. And that is exactly what this feature in Handshake is. You are reserving a time to talk to employers and the one-on-one -on -one sessions are about 10 minutes long, but we'll get into that in a minute. So when I go through and view employer sessions, I can see all the employers that are attending as well as what opportunities that they have to have conversations. If you see an employer that you're hoping to engage with and it says that they have no sessions available, don't panic. That is likely because they just have not put in any in the system yet. That doesn't mean that they're full or that they're just not coming. It just means that they haven't put their sessions in the system yet. So make sure that you are consistently checking back on Handshake to see when those times do become available. But as you scroll through, you will see that companies have two options, group sessions and one-on-one -on -one sessions. One-on-one -on -one sessions are designed to give you individual access to your recruiter where you can get to know them on a more personal level and ask your specific questions. Group sessions are designed to give the employers chances to give a company overview and share about their recruiting process with a little bit of a larger group, but it's also a time for you to ask them your questions there as well. So now that I have seen kind of all the sessions that are available, I can begin signing up. So I'm gonna go up here and sign up for a group session. And 7.30, confirm and I'll sign up for a one-on-one -on -one session with DC Energy. So these little red dots on the time, it tells me that I have a conflicting session and Handshake won't allow me to sign up for a one-on-one -on -one session that conflicts with the group session with ClearSight that I signed up for. So that's a really great feature that Handshake uses to make sure that you don't double book yourself. And so that just makes me change my time. So maybe I'll just sign up with a seven o'clock time with this recruiter and confirm. And as I'm going through and signing up for sessions, Handshake is going to build a schedule for me. And I can see that by going to my sessions. And this is where you wanna go on the day of the fair. 
to find the video links. These will turn blue during the time of your session and about five minutes before that you will click on to join the conversation with your recruiter. And this session also shows time blocks where I don't have anything going on. And this is a great opportunity to view more open sessions and see what you can sign up for during those gaps of time. Use this to your advantage and maximize the time that you have with the employers and all those that are attending. Think of it like you're at a career fair and you might stumble across the table of an employer you might not have planned to talk to, but who knows, like it turned out to be the internship of your dreams. So definitely talk to as many recruiters as possible and fill up this time. Now, once you've got your schedule completely built out, you just wanna go back and do a little bit of more research on the employer so that you're coming up with really good intentional questions to ask them during your conversations and practice your elevator pitch so you're ready to make a positive impression. And a few final things I want to make sure that you're aware of. You want to make sure that you're consistently checking our website, career.virginia.edu, for all additional details about these events as they come out. And we know that tech troubles happen every day in this new virtual environment, but we are trying to troubleshoot as much as possible. And I have linked a blog post that we created with some of the things we found out already from students' experiences in these career fairs and how to navigate any of those tech issues. So make sure that you read that and you are staying up to date with what we've got going on there. And, but don't be afraid to reach out to us if anything unexpected does occur. We're always here for anything that comes up. We are also available for virtual drop-ins every day from 12 to four. You can just find that on our website, career.virginia.edu, and you'll have counselors on the line to ready to answer your questions um, virtually that way. And if you have any other questions too, you can always make an appointment with a career counselor via handshake. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to virtually seeing you this fall.